This was a very special uh, trip to the Holy Mountain. Um, I've, I've been there before a few times for pilgrimage, which is incredible. And this time it was uh, for a specific reason. Um, uh, there was a, a documentary that was being uh, filmed about the life of Elder Joseph, the Hesychist. And um, I was asked to, to be involved and, and uh, the documentary would, would be a lot of um, reenactments of dramatic moments from his life. suggested that to you and how you reacted? I, yeah, I don't even, I don't know, I can't remember who the first person was that suggested it to me, but because I, I think I heard, you know, uh, murmurings that this might happen a couple, even a couple years ago. Uh, so it was a, kind of in the back of my mind, I thought, wow, I don't know if this is, you know, again, it was this sense of like... Expecting it. Yes, and, and a, f a trepidation, you know. Uh, this is not something I take. I would take lightly. So um, when it did come come together, and I finally heard, okay, this is happening, and you know, we had discussions of when are you available, and you know, and it's been very busy this year, and trying to figure out a time. Um, and I've just been reading books about the life of uh, Elder Yosef, and uh, his letters are absolutely incredible, and. Um, the book uh, by uh, Yiranda Ephraim uh, of Arizona uh, is just phenomenal as well. And so I was just immersing myself in, in, in his life as, as preparation for this. Was it easy for you? Uh, no, it wasn't easy. Uh, but there was something that felt right about it. There was a lot of grace. It, it, it felt, it was very difficult in many ways, and at the same time there was a, there was this grace that was present that was like, this, this, this felt right, and um, everybody that was there, we could, we could kind of feel it. It was a sense of like, uh, you know, his, his prayers uh, were with us. So, um, yeah, I mean, in many ways it was um, intimidating, it was exhilarating, it was um, extremely exhausting, both physically and spiritually. And, um, and yet it was like a dream come true, in a sense also, uh, as an actor, to be able to approach something like this that had this kind of uh, depth, spiritual depth. It was um, just uh, an incredible uh, blessing. to ask for um, a help from your spiritual father? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was asking for the prayers of anyone <laughs> I could find. <laughs> Any, uh, uh, I was asking for the prayers of my spiritual father. I wouldn't have been able to, to, to do that uh, without, without his prayers and the prayers of the, the fathers of the Holy Mountain, uh, my wife, my children. Um, and the, you know, the, the help and intercession of the Mother of God. You know, that was one thing I, I experienced from uh, Elder Yosef was uh, he, I felt like I experienced a, a deeper love for the Mother of God that, that was from him. Uh, and just walking through some of his life, some of his experiences and his love for for the Mother of God was, was uh, quite uh, remarkable, quite inspiring.
Well, creatively, it was different in, in many ways than what I had done because, um, you know, it, it was because it's it's the life of a, a hermit, the life of a hesychus, for the most part. Um, so, um, you know, most of the time when you're acting, you're, you're, you're collaborating a lot with other actors. The whole thing is, is how, how does the dialogue work and how does the scene work? And, and it's, it's what happens with the other performers. And this was primarily just, he's alone <laughs> and in silence and praying. And so, the process was um, was different in that sense, and there really, you know, wasn't very much dialogue at all either. There were a few, you know, prayers and things like this, but there there wasn't a lot of dialogue. And so, it was in some sense, it was almost like filming a silent movie, a dramatic silent film with these extreme situations. Um, but. As I said earlier, you know, at a very young age, I began to ask God to help me prepare for uh, the various roles that I do with prayer. And so that helped me a lot because uh, the preparation was, was prayer. And, and this was something that He had already put in me at a very young age. And so I did feel a sense of, of that, that I had been, you know, preparing for this for quite some time. How did you feel when you, you had to uh, hold his personal things like his uh, rosary? <sighs> Yeah, yeah, the Coposkini, yeah, yes. that was amazing, yeah. They, they had some books of his, uh, the, uh, they had uh, the chair that he actually sat in, um, uh, and, 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 you know, it, it, it's all very uh, mystical, it's all very humbling, and the locations, everything was just, there was just, it was amazing. Like I said, it was like a dream come true to be a part of, of something like this. And to, you know, I think that the, the, the prayer, the goal, was to show the inner life of, uh, of a monk, of an ascetic. To show the inner life, because um, it's one thing to you know, show something from a distance and, and see, okay, this person is alone in a cave and doing this and that. But to try to show um, more of the inner life uh, and, and to bring that to the world, uh, that, was, that was really the, the goal in the prayer. And you had to play um, the role at all, uh, at all ages, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, the, almost not 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 the teenage years, but from from maybe 24 up, yeah. So there was um, a makeup transformation, mm -hmm. but a, an inner transformation mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, yeah. It was the again the emotional, physical uh, experience, and. Um, by God's grace, uh, we 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 could all feel uh, his his presence and his help throughout the process. It was um, uh, it was very humbling. What has impressed you uh, most uh, from the personality of uh, Elder Joseph? Mm. There's so much. Um, I think uh, for me, reading. Uh, about Elder Yosef and, and, and then, you know, playing him in, in, in the, the documentary, what, what comes out for me is his very personal love for Christ and the Mother of God. Um, ab above all, it, it, it was love. 
and you you see an ascetic, an incredible ascetic. And the other thing that that I was confronted with was just a sense of almost um, not almost a sense of heroism. You know, this is a, he's like a spiritual hero. He's is bravery, courage. He had a fight in him. He had a, a defiance against evil, and he had a love for God that was so powerful, that was all-consuming. Um, but so everything he did, the fasting, the vigils, um, the prayers, all of this, it, it, it wasn't an end in itself. It was because of his love for God. It was because he was giving himself over entirely to God, and he was praying for the world. And it's almost impossible to rationally understand this life. Because you read it and you just like, you just think, this, how is this even possible? But when you glimpse his, his love for God and his love for the world, um, that's when it, it, it starts to... Um, Come naturally. Yeah, it starts to make sense in a in a in a uh, you know a spiritual, more mystical way. Uh, but yeah, I would say his love for God and his courage. Um, he was relentless, and he he never gave up.